What's up everybody, welcome back to the latest episode of Pokemon So Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last episode, but I forgot what we did last episode. <laughs> but this episode we'll be taking on the Cerulean City Gym and the Pewter City Gym. Hopefully. I I'm, I'm planning on doing that. So, uh, quick team review. Just a super quick one. <laughs> Up front, we have the ever-reliable Lin, the Jolteon, followed by Sawana, the Skarmory, then the Swampert, Dan, the Shift Tree, and finally, the newest addition to the team that I caught in between episodes, Zen, the Zongoose. As you guys can see, I went over to Route 4, and she was the first one that popped out. I added her to the team because I'd never used a Zongoose before, and she's got pretty high, she's got pretty high physical attack. Uh, physical defense is kind of shitty, but uh, hopefully she pulls her weight. So anyway, let's get right to it. Alrighty, there we go. Oh dang it! I'm I'm trying to avoid fighting as many gym trainers as I can. Just because I, I want to get, like, straight to the gym leader itself. Oh. Of a area, though, say. Alright. Uh, it's funny <laughs> that there's a bug Pokemon in Misty's gym, because she has, um... I forget what the fear of bug it, bugs is. What, what, what it's called. But I think that'd be kind of funny. That... <laughs> One of her trainers has a bug Pokemon on his team. Oh dang it. Yeah, alright, what do you got? A Huntail, okay, see, now there's a proper water Pokemon. I mean, I, I don't know if Misty is actually going to have any water Pokemon, because it's, you know, randomized, but... It should be fun to see, won't it? <laughs> but before we do, we're going to grab this. And it's the black item. It's part of the machine. Pretty much we're gonna have to fix a generator with that. Alright, here we go. I was, I was expecting you, you pest. Well, that's mean. We only meant like once. How rude. You may have a lot of Joro gym badges, but you better not take me too lightly. My water Pokemon are tough. Uh, let's see if you actually have any. Crystal. Okay, see, that's a, that's a good name for her. <laughs> Juggler. Ah, she has a flying Pokemon. Okay. Alright. <laughs> and it's a rock type, too. <laughs> I found that funny for some reason. Oh, oh, okay, so she does have a Gyarados. Okay. Alrighty. Good on her. Gyarados is a good Pokemon. But can I take out one Thunder Fang? Uh, nope, I paralyzed it. Alright. And Thunder Shock. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, Lynn leveled up. Who else? What else you got? A Lapras! Ooh, Lapras, okay. I think Swanna can take out Lapras. Let's put Ice, I believe, right? Hmm, maybe not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, it missed. Fly? See if that does a lot. Uh, slightly. Uh, at least Hydro Pump is missing. You know, that's something. 
Oh, crit. Ah. Oh, that's gonna be a tough. That's gonna be tough to do. Uh, seems like s Steel Wing is my best bet here. Oh, fudge. Do I have any forward stores? No, I don't. Poison. Oh, okay. I do have an spear berry. But I should probably heal up before I use it. Okay. I also had a bunch of full heals, but... Yeah. Okay, so this ain't turning out very well. For... Swana. But, uh... She's a trooper. She's a trooper. And she's frozen again, but... Okay. That's okay. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna heal up a little bit again. Alright, now fly. Can you take her out? Okay, there we go. That was pretty brutal. A grand ball. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna throw you Zen. She's got pretty high physical attacks. Uh, let's try Slash. Get down. Ooh, ooh. I don't like that. Finn, he can take out Gramble. Yeah, that was not good for Zen. Oh, it's just a takedown. <laughs> All right, Misty is down. You really are good. I'll admit, you are skilled. Take it, it's a Cascade badge. Neat. Here's another memento from the battle. Take it. TMO3. Uh, a lot of pulse, and no, it doesn't. Uh, TMO3. TM. Embargo! Ah, uh, that's actually kind of funny when you think about it. I used a lot of healing items in that fight. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Kind of funny to me that she'd give me an item that would prevent that. Well, a move, I should say. A move. Alright, put one up front. Alrighty, so that was the... Cerulean City Gym. Not bad. Not bad. Next, we're gonna head to the power plant and fix it. And then we're gonna head to Lavender Town. Because we have to. Oh, and uh, just in case you guys were curious, uh, Route 4 is right here. So, just in case you were wondering. Also, I, I kind of want to apologize for how late I'm posting this. I mean, I'm still posting it on a Tuesday, but um, uh, I, I was just having a lazy kind of morning. I was up pretty late last night, and I wanted to sleep in. No, right, I don't think we need to go that way. No. So, yeah, I hope you guys can kind of forgive me. And hopefully this video is up uh, before Tuesday ends. I mean, if it's not, I don't think you guys will really be too bent out of shape over it. Oh, we could have gotten a Blastoise. Mm. I love, love the Blastoise. I'm not sure if I would have replaced uh, Finn with uh, Blastoise. I mean, I love Blastoise, but... Ah, uh, Elm, what do you want? Uh, oh, thanks. Something called Pokeyaris that infects Pokemon. It's like a virus. Multiplies and infects other Pokemon too, but that's not all. It doesn't do anything and it goes away over time. Guess it's nothing to worry about. Yeah, okay. Uh, my Pokemon got Pokeyaris in between episodes, basically. Yep, okay. Take the pot. 
And everything's working. Perfect. 57. What is that? It's not charge beam. It is... Older Saloof. Okay. Well, that's not very useful, but... They're okay. I can always sell it if I need money. Alrighty. So, on to Lavender Town. And away we go. <laughs> ah. Do do do. Yeah, Drake, you saw the power plant's problems. I see you, I never lost my job. I tell you, you're a lifesaver. Take this. EXPN. Tune into any or every radio program in Kanto. Neat. Which we need that. Because now, it's off to Vermilion City. Basically, we had to fix the power plant to get him to do that. Which allows us to use our Poke Gear now to use um, music. Well, a specific song, which is the Poke Flute. Alright, now let's see what the Snorlax got randomized into. Something good, something good. Come on, something good. Ah, Revile. I can't catch it. Can't escape. Yeah, I already caught it so I can't catch it again. Dang it. I was hoping something good. Well, maybe I can get something in Diglett's cave. What's gonna be down here? Maybe a Diglett. That'd be funny. A Talo? I don't think I have a Swallow. So let's try and catch it. Alright. There we go. When it gets cold, they migrate flying over 180 miles a day. It hunts for tasty prey. Neat. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna call him Taylor. Not the, again, uh, not the most original name, I know. But I don't want to spend, spend too much time on names. There we go. Alright, what else I've got? Alright, Taylor. Alrighty. Is that all that's gonna be down here? Is that all that's gonna be down here? Okay. Alright. Well, not the most exciting catches. But, eh, better than nothing. <laughs> now we're here on Route 2. Mental herb. Alrighty. So let's get an encounter for Route 2. Which I clearly have, haven't been here before. Alright, what do we get? There we go. Alright, come on. What do I get? Mariana? Level 3. Alright, let's catch it. it. Chases down prey in a pack of round 10. They defeat foes with perfectly coordinated teamwork. Ah, teamwork. Hmm. Um, I'm going to call uh, hmm. uh, Huntress. There we go. That's a good name. I don't think I caught Poochiana yet, either, so... That's something. Alright. We're gonna deposit Taylor. There we go. And let's check real quick to make sure I don't have a Poochiana. 
Doesn't look like it. Okay. Alrighty. So now, on to the gym. But before I do, I should probably get some more healing items. You know, just to be on the safe side. And... Hyper Potions? I can get 31. I'll get... 15. There we go. Oh, I'm happy. <laughs> Alrighty. Now let's go take on Brock. See if he has any rock Pokemon. I mean, Misty has Gyarados and Lapras, so that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, okay. We can just avoid everyone. Good. Good. There we go. Oh, it's not often we get a chance from Johto. I'm Brock, the pewter gym leader. I'm an expert on rock Pokemon. My Pokemon are impervious to most physical attacks. You have a hard time inflicting any damage. Come on. Alright, what you got? Bob. <laughs> okay. Alright. Ooh, a Sable Eye. Hmm. I like Sable Eye. I think Sable Eye looks pretty. pretty good. Pretty good. Good looking Pokemon. Not sure about his mega evolution. Kinda iffy on that one. There we go. Oh, he's got a squirtle. He has a water Pokemon. Alright. Alright. Oh. What else he got? A Gorbis? I don't think he has any rock Pokemon. <laughs> that's, that's, that's actually kind of funny. Well, he threw out a couple left, so we'll see. Nope. No. <laughs> he got he got water Pokemon. Uh, well, he does have someone else left, so <laughs> maybe I should wait before I pass judgment. Ah, uh, strength. Whirlwind. I think that's gonna do a lot. No, that did nothing. There we go. Ah! <laughs> oh, gloom? Okay. Alright. Uh, he has water and grass Pokemon and no rock Pokemon. That's, that's funny to me. I took a risk, but it paid off. <laughs> and down goes Brock. Your Pokemon's powerful attacks overcame my rock hard resistance. Oh my. You're stronger than I expected. Thank you. Take this badge. The Boulder Badge. I really enjoyed that battle with you, Drake. I'll give you the move Rock Slide too. TM80. Is it Rock Slide? I, I, I don't think it is. Yep, alright. TM80. 80. 80. Uh, Shadow Force. <laughs> okay. Alright. So that was a couple gym battles, which I'm happy about. Uh, I said this before, but I really don't plan on challenging the Elite Four a second time. Um, I plan to get all the badges and then head to Mount Silver to face off against the Red. After some serious, serious grinding, obviously. But, uh, let me know what you guys think. Would you guys like to see me do the Elite Four again? Or... Do you just want to see me fight Red? Ah, oh, Route 3 is going to be annoying. I'm, I'm heading this way because we're going to have a rival battle up at Mount Moon, I think. I'm pretty sure there is one there. But we'll just have to see, won't we? Yeah, 
Okay. There we go. I don't know what to do. Well, that sucks. Oh, Pachiwisu. I like Pachiwisu. Such a cute Pokemon. Aww. Oh, that was adorable. Not adorable enough, unfortunately. Or Zelia. I know I'm not using Zen a lot, but... I don't think Zen's gonna stay on the team. I honestly thought she'd do a little bit better. I mean, her physical defense is kind of crappy, but we'll, we'll just have to see, won't we? Alright, so what can I catch on Woot 3? Ah, there we go. A Burmy. Uh, I'm not gonna waste an Ultra Ball on it. It covers itself as a cloak to shelter from the cold. When it's hot, its cloak is thinner. Neat. Um, I'm just gonna call her Betty. Again, not the most of her name, I know. There we go. Alright, what do you got, Hiker Man? What do you got to bring to the table? Bug Pokemon? Alrighty. Mant hike. Okay, Zen, you can do this. Good job. And a sizzle. Ah, really. I really gotta get a fire Pokemon on, on the team. Level up. Alrighty. Ah. There we go. Tangela. Alright, Zen. You can take out Tangela, surely. I want to keep Zen in because I'm thinking Arena is pretty physical. And a little leap. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that's the last trainer on this route. Maybe. Hopefully. Every time I try to sneak past, they just immediately look over. Oh, Hyperia. Okay. <laughs> Quit. Awesome. Minicham. Minicham. There we go. Probably heal up. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I don't know what my wife was gonna bring to the table. And I honestly forgot what his name is. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. That's okay. 
Mount Moon, and there he is. Hey, Drake. Oh, Mickey, huh? You're in Kanto too. Someone trains here tough, which makes it easy to train my Pokemon. I know you're strong. I can't help but challenge you. Okay. Alright, what you got, Mickey? A Grottle. Okay. That's a good Pokemon. I one shot it, but still a good Pokemon. Nine Tails. Alrighty, there we go. Oh, ah. Nah, I'm just not gonna stop. <laughs> Alrighty. Ah, Kabutops. I actually like Kabutops. I think it looks like a pretty awesome Pokemon. And a toxic croak. Hmm. I don't think it's part fighting, is it? Wait. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, it is. Okay. I forgot. I never used toxic croak. Ah, oh, Chimeco. Okay, Zen, you can come out for that. Chimeco is. Huh, that's why I forgot it's part psychic. Or is it pure psychic? I don't know. And Absol. Alright. <laughs> Double team, you think that's gonna save you? It doesn't. You go lie down. Sorry about that, you guys. My uh, my dog Chico is in my lap right now, and he's moving around a lot. <clears throat> my training skill is still not good enough. The Pokemon is so weak; it makes me frustrated. But I I can feel the game better after each battle. They're still too weak. I need to give them more training. I should take them to Dragon's Den. See you, Drake. Goodbye. All right. What's on Kano for Mount Moon? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, is a good Pokemon. There we go. It loves challenging others to test the strength. It has the power to stop a train with a slap. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Slappy. With those big hands. <laughs> Slappy. Well, slaps. <laughs> that works too. Alright, you guys. Uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, next episode, we'll... Uh, I don't think we can do Viridian Gym yet. I think we gotta... Head to Cinnabar. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. Alright, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like down below. Uh, comment on what your favorite part is. Answer the question of the day if you feel so inclined. And don't forget to subscribe for more future content. Which I don't you don't know what it's gonna be, so subscribe and find out. And uh you know don't forget to go check out my other let's plays and leave them some love. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>